Hello everyone, welcome to Project Discovery presented by Collective Shift. This is our weekly recap of the crypto and NFT projects that our research team found. Hopefully the video is about 15 to 20 minutes, we'll go through each project pretty quickly. For Collective Shift members, we do this five days a week, um, going through daily on the projects that we find. And we will timestamp all the videos in the description below. There is no time to lose. Let's get right into it. Our first project today is Nifty Land. They're saying they want to be the front page of the metaverse, similar to Reddit being the front page of the internet. So we have decentralized social media, token-gated forums. It's, it's awesome. I love this place. We enable NFT communities to collaborate within gated forums. How good's that? So private spaces to communicate. We've got four different NFT collections that you need to hold to be a part of the beta. Punks apes, cats, penguins. Um, they just added penguins this week, actually pudgies. So let's go in and take a look. Here it is. It looks very much like Reddit. It, it's a forum. I could star. I could upvote. I could come in here and comment on the welcome punks. Um, so it's, it's, oops, it's very, very cool. Um, very, very limited, of course, but it, this is, in my opinion, what's going to come. Now, you'll say, oh, this is just Reddit, but but tokenized and Web3 enabled, and that's the whole point. Um, I believe the things that Niftyland will be able to do that Reddit won't be able to do, even if Reddit does tokenize, even if they become Web3 enabled, um, I think these new platforms will offer us something special and something new. So Niftyland, very bullish on decentralized social media. From the people that brought us crypto suits and carbon swap on the energy web chain, I'm a big fan of the energy web chain as well. We have NF trees, or yeah, and we're growing NF trees backed by real trees. Have fun and make real world impact. The cool thing about this is we can mint these NF tree NFTs um, on energy web chain, Moon River, Avalanche, and Polygon. This website's one of actually the best multi chain UI experiences or UI UX experiences, uh, I guess. Um, that I've seen. It's very, very cool. I could pay for these NFT trees with any one of these different blockchain tokens, Matic, Avalanche, Moon River, or Energy Web Token. So when you mint an NFT, tree, you're planting a ra random seedling. It will grow into a mature tree in 60 days, and you will enjoy watching the process. Awesome. And they're backed by real trees. When you plant an NFT, tree, you're also planting a real tree, which is cool. What is interesting down here, we talk about... <coughs> You'll be able to f your you'll be able to plant fully grown trees in Zootopia, where they will yield virtual CO2 removal credits, which can be used in the future economy of Zootopia, a virtual 3D island, which will become a home for crypto suits and NF trees. So, if you're a fan of Energy Web Token and Energy Web Chain, um, this is looking like the NFT project to participate in right now. And if we wanted to plant a tree, I'm getting a, there. You go. I think I'd have to switch chains. I think I'm on Ethereum. So, but there is the little UI. Moving on. Here's Ecology. These, it, this is the community. This isn't quite crypto native, but um, this is the community that's enabling the planting of trees for us minting NFT, NF trees um, through um, Energy Web Chain. So I just wanted to give a shout out to Ecology or planting trees out there in the world. There they are. We plant trees and fund the world's best climate crisis solutions. So it looks like they're working with um, crypto, and then they also have their own like subscription, looks like here. Next up is Swapper.NFT, still on the energy web chain, this time for NFTs as well. Um, swap any combo of EWT, ERC20, ERC721, 1155 tokens on the energy web chain. They take a 1% fee. So this is pretty cool. This guy wants to give um, 77 EWT for these three different NFTs. So you could come here and set this offer if you have, you know, if you have a smudge token or if you have 10 EWT, or I guess if you have the smudge token, um, yeah, you could come here and accept these offers if you have uh, one or the other. So very, very cool um, interface. Let's see the latest swaps that have actually been um, completed. There's been a few swaps completed. So that's, that's a, this is a, I believe this, I forget the name of this one, uh, but we'll put it in the description below on the Energy Web Chain, a platform to, tra uh, to trade NFTs on Energy Web Chain. Moving on to Red Dow, a digital fashion DAO house. This one's quite expensive to get into, but it could be quite an opportunity if you were to get into it. If we go over to the members and we want to go and press join, we will come in here and see that it is about 50 ETH. 
um, minimum to get in. And I think you can pay in increments of 50 ETH, 100, 150 ETH um, for the red DAO units. So red DAO will support, purchase, archive, collect, invest in items and digital garments in the emerging world of wearables and fashion. So they're going to have initial 40 initial members who will pull their capital to make investments. This would just be epic to be, to be involved in. So somehow we'll be, have to track these guys um, and absolutely ride their coattails because it could be very interesting to see what this, uh, what this digital fashion house does. Moving on to CounterDAO. This one's a new one talking about Web3 campaigns. Make magic internet money together. I think we've got a very basic website here. Oh, no website at all. Let me actually get out of this one. I'm going to close a few tabs really quickly. Excuse me, just because I think my internet's going slow. This is from Ellie Day. So I think Ellie Day is starting a DAO. Um, and they want to start an initial counter DAO campaign. So we'll be going with Web3 campaigns. And I think the first one is to create an in real life event. Who wants to rent a house? Two weeks in Lisbon can all congregate, live that Web3 life. But beyond that first campaign, very, very cool concept here um, of using magic internet monies together um, for in real life and you know digital events. So counter now, bringing a campaign to use hopefully soon. Next one up is Live Life. This one's on Avalanche. Really cool to see that all the Avalanche projects have the little red triangle. So if you ever see that little red triangle on um, Twitter, that's that's where it'll be. So this is the super fun life simulator game on Avalanche. I think we've just, it's pretty early days, but I have a feeling we'll be minting a profile picture NFT and then using it within a blockchain based game on Avalanche. So look out for live life. Moving on to Avaholics or Avexholic, which is the latest Avalanche news, analytics, insights, research, all in one. So we can join the website and if you do go to the website, which we're showing you right now, or hopefully, head over to up the top, analytics desk, and then ecosystem overview. Here we've got a wonderful page for Avalanche ecosystem projects um, and a really cool filtering um, system up here. So if I want to just DeFi uh, within Avalanche, I could go here and gosh, there's a lot of projects even just for DeFi where the NFTs Quite a few less for, NF, uh, for NFTs naturally, uh, but quite a few still. So I wanted to mention this for all the Avex Holics out there. Um, there is a website just for you. Moving on to the surreals. Here we've got a profile picture collection, 10,000 generative portraits. People really, re really reacted well to the artwork uh, last week. So generative portraits with a surrealist, vintage, naturalist aesthetic. They look great. And I wonder where we are in pre-sales live. Oh, have a look at this. I'll get this video out there. Public sale begins in three hours. Um, so hopefully you see this video by then. If not, we would have just minted. Um, and I'm very curious to see what are we going for on mint price. Each surreal is 0 0.06 ETH to mint. Um, I'm curious what floor price will be after minting, you know, after a couple of hours. They've got about 16,000 followers on Twitter and if we go to their discord this could get us give us a good indication of how popular this mint will be and it's going to be very popular um, 18,000 members is, is a lot for a crypto discord um, you know pudgy penguins cool cats have about 32,000 so surreals are doing well in terms of member um, I guess engagement or excuse me community engagement so far so watch out for the surreals could be quite surreal Moving on to Kanu DAO, community and automation for DAOs and Web3 businesses. They're still they're using Juicebox right now, still figuring out what these guys are doing. But they're a, they're, they're a project focused on making people's part of your DAO uh, work better, decentralized and autonomous. So they're working with internal structure, experience, automation, voting and governments, social media marketing strategy for DAOs. We could contribute and ETH, and I believe we could get CND token. There you go. And look at this. We're past 10 ETH earned. Appreciate so much of the energy and everyone's been putting into this project. Do work. Get the juice. Build the game-changing IDs. Let's see if they've got a Twitter update real quick. Here we go. Here, Art, uh, This is done by Zuth. 
.eth There you go. He's just announced September 30th. They've they've passed 10 ETH in funding, so they're using Juicebox to fund themselves. Um, but if you don't know, Canu DAO is working to create better communities and tools for DAOs. They do Discords, Twitters, and bots for both platforms. Cool. Good for them. So that's Canu DAO, community and automation for DAOs. Moving on to Ghost DAO. This is, they are called a DAOs of DAO. They, they call themselves the DAO of DAOs, excuse me. Their first portfolio DAO is Socks DAO, which I believe, let's, we'll have a quick look at Socks DAO. But Ghost DAO is for all of the um, cryptodes that are ghosts, I believe. Um, and the cryptodes have been absolutely firing. Where are those little guys? Here they are. These little cryptodes have been absolutely um, crushing it. So I think we've got some ghost toads, and I believe this DAO at Ghost DAO is for all of the ghost toad holders. Next up, we have Socks DAO, and I believe we're giving socks to all the ghost toad holders at socks.exchange in a very uni socks type thing. We've got 4,000, another 7,000 socks uh, sold or minted. So I think you have to hold um, one of the toads. And here it is, introducing Ghost Owl. Wanted to come down, quickly see this thing right here. Formed in the spur of the moment by holders of Ghost Toads in legendary artist Greplin's 6969 plus profile picture collection Cryptodes. Voting rights is, and membership is granted to anyone holding one of the exclusive 20 cryptodes minted with ghost traits during the project's soon-to-be historic casual mint. Damn, what alpha that was on September 23. Yep, the cryptodes blew up. Good for them. Moving on. Past Sockdow. To Oolong Swap. Here we go. We've got Boba Network's first native AMM. Really pumped on the Boba Network. Here we go. So we've got a Dex and AMM pre-launch on the Boba Network, which is right here. This is, I believe, the blockchain um, for Omisego, the OMG token from way back. Lower gas, faster, secured in Ethereum, supercharged with hybrid compute. It's a layer two solution. Here we go. Very cool. So it's introducing the layer Ethereum layer two Boba network, and we've and we could bridge to Boba. Let's have a quick press of the button. Cool. We could connect our MetaMask. I won't do that now, but very very cool little process here. Get money over to the Boba network. Moving on to Rarity C. This is the NFT marketplace on Phantom. It's quite a clean little UI UX, a little slow. I won't I won't switch my wallet over. Let's have a quick look at the collections. Oh, it's gonna try to make me. Excuse me, let me just cancel this really quickly. Well, unfortunately, unable to show you really show you the marketplace because it's a little slow to load. Um, ah, there we go. We've got a few rarity characters up here um, that people have built in the rarity adventure game, it looks like. So it's a clean little marketplace. Um, do we have any other type of NFTs out there? Not really. It's acting up a little bit, but for those that are into Phantom, um, Rarity C is here, and it's an NFT marketplace on Phantom. Moving on to Nifty Options. We have Option Contracts offer the or nifty option contracts offer the right to, to sell a specific nft at an agreed upon price which is really really wonderful this is kind of a lot of what we need um i know i'm a little hesitant sometimes to sell nfts so hedge collateralize and price your nft nifty option contracts allow you to create on-chain agreements with the right but not the obligation to sell your nft at an agreed upon price and ex expiration date how cool is that so very cool. I think they're live. There you go. Ordered it, insured up to 10 million TVL by Sherlock. Ooh, some alpha there on Sherlock. That's pretty cool that they're ordered it and insured up to 10 million. So if you're some, if you're one of the first 10 million in there, um, hopefully they cap it. But that's some alpha right there for Sherlock. Um, providing insurance, good for them. 
great. So Nifty Options looks like a really good um, offering. Next up is Restless. Create, wear, play, sell. I believe we're doing um, wearables and also in real life fashion and garments as well. Looks looks like it's in private beta because I don't have access, but I do think we have a product um, test flight down here. There we go. Pretty cool. So there's a little 3D character with has a little hoodie on that I think you could get in real life as well. So it looks like we're pre-launch and, and kind of a little bit in stealth mode right now. This is a pretty cool ho hoodie with uh, with the cryptodes on there. That is really cool. Sweet. So that's Restless, um, a wearables NFT platform coming soon. Moving on to NFTunes, an artist collective bringing classical music to the world of NFTs. Their first project is Mozart Beats, they say, which is dropping soon. And I think, when are we doing this? October 1st. They did it behind the scenes. I forget when they're actual. Um, they did a clubhouse. They're doing some event planning. Got an in real life team. We got real people here. Gotta love it. They're doing um, work with some artists. I think they have um, an upcoming uh, concert here. Here it is. Thank God. October 7th. So this collab by NF Tunes and R. Het, a digital art experimentist. The blockchain's first ever live orchestra upcoming on ASIC Music um, will be October 7th. So we have that to look forward to. So that's ASIC Art working with NF Tunes to put on the first blockchain-based concert, it looks like. Moving on, we have Photocentra, which is also tackling NF, or excuse me, which is tackling NFT photography. They've got a cool little website. Um, it looks like they're working with stock images. So we can go over to the marketplace and it is Web3 enabled. Um, we can come in here and I, I believe purchase some stock images that we could then use. So I won't sign in or sign up right now, but you can kind of see the UI UX, very, very clean. Um, so someone tackling stock images um, and tackling NFT photographies through stock images, which is, which is a pretty cool um, concept. Next up, oh, and excuse me, that was on Immutable Exchange. So that was on Immutable. And then we've also got Kawaii Cats, which is an NFT um, collection on Immutable. Immutable is the NFT, I think it's a layer two blockchain that is NFT specific. So they're building specifically for NFTs. So we just saw uh, photography NFTs. Now we're looking at little cat profile pictures. They're cool because I think they actually have a token incorporated, the PUR token, P-U-R-R. -R. Um, I believe the rarity of your cat will depend on how much per token, um, here it is, gets produced per day. 5% of the Kawaii cats are legendary. They produce 10 per tokens per day, rather than the 70% of common cats who produce one. So interesting dynamic there. They're gonna get outfits. Looks like you're gonna be able to improve your little cat. So they're kind of cute. Meet the cats on Immutable. Minting is coming soon. Next up is Davatar, one avatar for everything Web T, Web three. We started off with Nifty Land, um, kind of being decentralized social media. This one's pretty cool, not as cool as Nifty Land, in my humble opinion. Um, but this one is an, the ability to change all of your Web three enabled profiles or Web three enabled platforms that you use, and use it with one avatar. So it looks like Bruno.e selected this little purple dude. Um, here on the left-hand side where my mouse is um, through Davatar. And now whenever Bruno goes anywhere, he'll have that avatar in there and doesn't really have to change avatars anymore. So pretty cool. One decentralized avatar for everything Web3. Next up is Hapija. Hapija is a profile picture collection done by that 13-year-old, probably now 14-year-old developer. Um, which is awesome. Good for him. He said he, uh, they said they had a really good time. How many have minted? I won't connect my wallet, but I think there's been more. There's been more than zero minted, that's for sure. Minting was live on September 28th. I think they're pretty cool. So, done by a young smart contract dev. 
we have the Happy Ja profile NFT uh, collection of generative elephant profile pictures. And what is at the end of the roadmap? Always got to look to the end of the roadmap. Look at like we're building a Happy Ja merchandise store. Awesome. There's going to be Happy Ja NFT staking, which is great. There's going to be invite applications for grants. Holder verification, exclusive Discord community. Awesome. Cool. I'm looking forward to this staking. Moving on to Taoists, we've got a DAO that is helping get best practices for other DAOs, a DAO dojo for teaching, learning, practicing DAOs, um, strategy, tokenization, governance. If I click on this website, I think it believe it takes us to a Discord. It does. So we have Taoists, a Discord community right now who is looking to improve best practices um, and kind of learn them as well. So if you're interested in DAO, DAOs, join Taoists. This one brought along an NFT trading card game. This one's just really fun to say. Joy Lena's Cantina, curated collection of trading cards with randomly generated stats and perks, plus a docs team, which means public team, launching October 28th. So we've got an opportunity here in the future for Joy Lena's Cantina. Let's check out the website. It almost looks like the Surreal. Um, we saw the Surreal earlier in the video, the profile picture collection. Here's NFT trading cards. They're kind of monster. 3D image looking looking little guys. Trading card NFT project. Here are the artists. Now the great thing about this, I think they've got some very, very talented artists here. Here they are. It's a public team. And if I can scroll up again, there we go. Projects that the public team has worked on. Harry Potter, uh, Fantastic Beasts, Beauty and the Beast, Marvel. So they're working with Hollywood. They're working with um, some big studios and yeah so kind of bullish on the artwork there because of the artists so very cool people love trading card games I'm not the biggest trading card game but um, person but a lot of people are and NFT trading cards are certainly um, have their place so that's Joy Lena's Cantina next up is Bloomer Dow. I think this one's stealth. I think we got a stealth DAO here comprised of game slash game adjacent friends trying to make it in this crypto world. DMs are open, so you can DM Bloomer DAO. Um, yeah, I think they're in stealth right now. Congratulations to a Bloomer DAO member on their sale of a Prime Meridian for 200 ETH this morning. Yeah, well done, buddy. Cool. It looks like they also are, are investing in um, NFTs because it looks like they bought a Cryptodes on September 28th. Really good buy then. Here you go. Get a bunch of serious folks from the gaming industry into Bloomer DAO for experimentation around DAO tooling, CC0 license agreements, sustainable PDE economics, and metaverse fashion. And what we do on day one, they blow the treasury on a cryptodes. That's funny. So that's pretty cool. Well, um, cool. So Bloomer DAO um, pushing forward DAOs, NFTs, um, and also investing in it as well. So. Very cool. Next up, FloorDAO. This one's awesome. We have NFTX, the marketplace, um, and they are going to start sweeping floors on the NFT marketplace. They want to be a market maker for NFTX. NFTX marketplace is slightly different um, than others where there's actually kind of like a pool or a vault of NFTs and that kind of creates a value that you can buy and sell at, creating for providing instant liquidity is their goal um, rather than having to go on to open sea sell kind of below the floor price find a price to buy this one just provides a price floor uh, a price for us now what are they going to do well and excuse me before we get to what floor is going to do those who provide the inventory of the nfts into those vaults um, and the liquidity take all the marketplace fees typically five percent on both sides so what are they going to do they're going to buy up the floors of collections with a thousand items and seed inventory on NFTX. They're going to supply the liquidity and the inventory, the NFTs, and take all the fees. So their hypothesis is that um, the amount of fees that they can earn is going to be higher than the price decrease of the NFTs if the if the NFTs go down. Hopefully, I bet what they're looking for is price um, appreciation as well as um, fees on top of it for, for, for pretty much staking them here. Their first acquisition has been 40 standard memberships to Gen.Art, which had a, has had a really, really solid start. People really like Gen.Art. The first DAO 
driven generative art project that caught their eye. So very, very cool. It is a currently an experiment in decentralized NFT market making. What we'll see soon, oops, hopefully if we go back to NFT market, let me go back to NFTX real quick. What we will see soon is a gen.art token or coin here on NFTX and most likely it will be controlled by Floor, where'd it go? Floor Boys, uh, Floor Dow. So that's probably what we'll see next, which is which is wonderful. And we will know that Floor Dow's earning all those fees, which is a, a very, very cool concept. Good for them. Moving on to Chimp, the on-chain image manipulation program. This is giving me Blitmap um, vibes. If we go to chimp.lol, I can come in here and create my own little image here, which is super cool. So we can come in here and practice all of our different pixelated arts. And I believe we can mint those for 0 0.02 ETH, which is kind of cool. There we go. So I think if we were to go to OpenSea, a lot of their stuff is pretty basic. Um, but, and I, you know, it's all not very valuable. Floor price is virtually nothing. Um, but the ability to have these images on chain means then you can do other things with them. So I wouldn't be surprised if there are things done with chimps in the future. And I think there's or, there are already things being done uh, with chimps and adventure cards. I can actually go back to Twitter and show you. Here we go. Introducing chimp cards. A new project just released using 0x adventure cards, which is a metadata project, um, which is using adventure card data and artwork generated using chimp.lol. So you could come in here, select a chimp that someone built, which you know someone probably drew this little this little hoodie, and then they could get a chimp card, which would so just one example of being able to use these little on-chain um, images. But yeah, go and, go and make your first little on-chain image. <laughs> and I think that's it today. Yes. Thank you, everyone, that made it this far. Really, really appreciate it. Um, we do these calls five days a week on Collective Shift. So come be part of our community, and we will go through um, weekly finding new projects. And that's about it for today. Thank you again, everyone. We'll be back at it next week. Bye for now.